So in this course, I will share with you a PDF that I usually send for all the students that approach me to help them build their CV. I really like building the CV in a Word document and I have a template that I developed over the years. And I really love to build a CV from a small building blocks and they are mainly tables. So why I like to build the CV from tables because this table, any change I make in this table, it will move the other tables down or up, but it will not affect how information are organized in each table, which is really important. Because our goal in this course, it's not only to help you build a CV, it's to help you to build a CV that can be usable in the future. Let's say in the future, if you during your residency or after residency, you obtain masters in public health. So you can easily add it here. Um, so that's how um, the CV usually can be updated in the future. I will walk with you step by step in each one of these blocks and how to create or write in each one of them and how to change the formatting. So let's just start by the first block. Usually all the CVs start with three basic blocks. Okay, so your name, address, number, email address, your education. You can either uh, talk about current positions or examinations. Uh, it depends on if you are a medical student or if you're an inter international medical graduate, applying for residency or applying for a fellowship. Okay, so here you can, you're, you're going to delete the name, mention your name, put your full address, delete the number, or like put, put tel, T-E-L, colon, and then your telephone number, put your professional email, and then add your LinkedIn profile. You can create a LinkedIn profile URL and add it here. And to learn how to create a nice professional LinkedIn profile, there are many uh, YouTube videos to help you in that. After you add the information here, what would you do is you just select this and then you go to home and then you delete all the borders. So you don't want any borders. So this will stay in the middle and in the future it is updated uh, and any updates here will not affect the uh, other building blocks. And I always make sure to mention to my students that please list everything in a reverse chronological order. This is very important. Okay, um, let's move on now and talk about other sections.